Okay, here we're going to remove the end cap of the Stellan so we can get to the flex rings. Uh, if you're watching this video, you've already been to training, so you already know how to get the covers off. So we're just going to start from this point. So like I said, we're going to start by removing this end. We're going to work on removing this end cap here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the interface board. Now there's 13 different connectors you have to disconnect. So we'll start with those. Pull these out. Slide these out. Something here, here, this connector here. Same thing with this connector over here. We have these four screws here we have to remove. And then there is a connector on the back here. it and we're out. And what that does is that allows us to get to these three nuts right here. But before we undo those we have to do the other side. Now this one's not as daunting we just have to remove this connector here for the to the CPU board. This connector down here And these five standoffs. And fold that over like that. Now what we missed earlier, there was actually a display board connected here that you should have already taken off, but if you've been to training, you know how to do that. And what this has done is it's given us easy access to the six nuts on the underside of this plate here so we can easily get this end cap off now. Now the end cap just lifts off. Okay, now just going to use needle nose or a wrench to loosen each one of these so we can just do it finger tight. And the next thing we need to do is we need to remove these eight screws holding this plate on. And 
Move the plate. And here are your Hall Effect sensors. There's the magnet. It goes up against the Hall Effect sensor there. So if you need to replace this or clean it off, this is how you get to it. Then, you put everything back. Then we put the gasket back on. Make sure that you put everything back in its place. And just push everything back down into its spot and it should hold. Then we put the posts back on. Now, when you're putting the head cover back on, the gray cables Go to your syringe sensors here, make sure they go to the same side as the head cable, not the other side. So when you're putting these back on, make sure all the wires are out of the way. Everybody should just slip down. As such. And again, make sure your gray cables are on the same side as the head cable. Now, one thing I want you to notice. Notice how your posts are not fully seated back down to this bracket. The reason for that is my silver end cap here is not fully seated down onto this blast black plastic piece here. What we need to do, my flex rings here are actually caught up inside a little bit. What we need to do is center them a tiny bit and that will allow us To drop the end cap a little bit more so that you can see now we are fully seated. Now we reattach the six nuts. Now we'll put our head CPU board back on. Make sure they slide this into this gap up here. And then put your standoffs in. This one stays empty. That's where your display board plugs in, gets screwed onto. Plug this cable back in, plug this cable back in, and 
Then we reattach the interface board. Start with the cable that was in the back. And then make sure all of our wires are out of the way. And we'll start by putting the screws back in. Then we start reconnecting our connectors. Start with syringe sensor cables. Tuck this back in here as best as possible. And same thing over here. Tuck it back as best as possible. Syringe sensor. Shiny side out. There's a dull side and a shiny side. Shiny side comes up, insert it into the slot all the way, close it down. Something over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All reconnected.